Welcome to beautiful Bali, with thousands of tourists every year visiting places like Penglipulan Village, one of the world's cleanest, the island of the gods. This Indonesian jewel is surrounded by coral reefs, tropical beaches, and of course, the friendly Balinese people. It really is absolutely breathtaking and exotic. Hello, I'm Paul Hand, and greetings badminton fans to the Bali International Convention Center, Western Resort in Nusadua, where the badminton family are based for the three successive Asian leg tournaments. It's day three of the Indonesia Open, which is our second rounds unfold in this Bali Badminton Festival. To those who lost early last week, another opportunity for a deep run. The BWF World Tour season's third prestigious Super 1000 level event has uh, loaded draw sheets that are throwing up some really enticing second round matches. Following the six-week European swing, our three-week Bali Bash hosts last week's Indonesia Masters, this week's Indonesia Open. Since 2018, it became one of only three tournaments to be granted Super 1000 level status. Then to round out the season, we've got the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals for the top eight players and pairs. Athletes here competing for valuable ranking points with this, the last roll of the dice as the only World Tour event remaining this season to qualify for the exclusive climatic Finale. Here's uh, day three's order of play on show court one. We're getting underway with the women's doubles. Eight seats, Tan and Tina, who seek a second successive quarter final, but in their way are an Indonesian pair, Kasuma and Pratiwi. Then a top 25 women's singles clash sees the eight seed Japanese lefty Sayaka Takahashi square off with Pitya Point Chaiwan, both for a deep here last week to quarter finals or beyond. A top 20 women's doubles repeat of last week's epic semi-final, which ran for 119 minutes, featuring the eventual tournament champions Matsuyama and Shida. Will they be detained for as long today by the tantalizing ties Super Jurikun and Kerat Tanachai? Sticking with the Japanese theme through six of our 10 feature matches, will mix doubles world number 67s in their first ever Super 1000 level event. Yamashita and Shinoya have enough to trouble last week's losing finalists, Tang and Sei. Then women's singles, top seed Akami Yamaguchi will no doubt have her guard up, having lost last time to talented Singaporean world number 18, Yo Jamin. Both come into this tournament in red-hot form. Following that, we've two men's doubles involving the Olympic champions, Li and Wang, and a mixed doubles, and a couple of men's singles featuring the top two seeds, Momota and Axelson, to round out day three's round of 16 action. So first up in our... 10 match bonanza is the Malaysian Indonesian women's doubles from the bottom half of the draw sheets, featuring last week's quarter finalists. Perli Tan and Tina Murlithran of Malaysia as the eighth seeds. And you can see that's how the draw sheets lie at the very top half of the draw. Kim and Kong are on right now in an all-Korean clash against Jong and Kim. That's out on court three. And we will be just adjacent with Perli Tan against Kusuma and Pratiwa from Indonesia. So out first, last week's beaten quarterfinalist to the champions. They went down 2014. 21-15 in 50 minutes to uh, Nami Matsuyama and Chihara Shida. Here are Tanatina leading the way. 21, 23 years old respectively. World number 18s they are right now. As the eight seeds off a career high. And here come the young Malaysians. Fabiana Wipuji Kasuma and Amalia Kahaya. Pratiwi, pair of 20-year-olds. Who will serve? You serve. Okay. okay, so Tina electing to receive. The Malaysians chose ends. All got a bit complicated there, didn't it? So many decisions. Okay. 
The umpire of the match, Terence Cognetri, Maurice Hughes. So it's going to be the world number 18 pair in red taking on the pair in black from Indonesia, ranked 201 in the world, but of course rankings very deceptive often. They're transitioning from the junior game are the Indonesians. And uh, this is a second meeting between these two teams. I'll tell you more in a minute as we take a look at uh, Perli Tan, 21 years of age from Kedar and off that career high ranking of 18 in the world they've had a terrific season haven't they done a lot of winning this year and a well-deserved ranking they've won 12 matches lost only nine of the 21 contested and uh, here's the 23 year old Tina Murulithran from Salangor her uh, constant sharing all of these uh, great wins that they've been having they uh, before the Sullivan Cup, they made quarterfinals or beyond in at least uh, four events. They won the Swiss Open, beating the Stoiver sisters in March. And this is their route through. They downed Azamendi and Corrales in a tight straight game affair. 43 minutes, all that they needed to earn their spot in this round of 16 clash. Now, what of their opponents? Fabriani, Duipuji. Kazuma from Jember has been up to 49 in the world with Rutka Sugiartu. That's a talking point in itself. And her partner, Amalia Kahaya Pratiwi from Sukahorjo, who is uh, off a career high ranking herself. Yet to win a world tour. Ready main to draw match together, these two. Okay. Apart from the win yesterday when they downed Marwa and Sika, fellow Indonesians, 21-11, 21-15 in 55 minutes. Michael Faridal of Norway, the umpire, and Hermin Armin Mir of Iran, the service judge. So who will it be then that pushes on to the quarterfinals and will play the winner of Matsuyama and Shida against Super Jurikun and Tera Tanachai. That's uh, our third feature match on Show Court 1 today. So we'll be bringing you exactly who gets through to the last eight. Let's see how this first round of 16 unfolds. You, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Curly Tan and Tina Muralitaran, Malaysia. And on my left, Fabriana Dwipuji Kusuma and Amalia Kahaya Prativi, Indonesia. Amalia Kahaya Prativi to serve to Tina Mirala Tara. Love all. Play. 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 This is a rematch Love. of uh, 23rd of October 2019 where they met these two pairs in the Indonesia International Challenge event. And the Malaysians came through in a tight three-gamer, actually. 21-13 in the decider. Two, love. But, of course, they're much improved since then. The uh, pair in red. Keen start from the Malaysian pairing. The Indonesians, they've contested four tournaments together since 2019.
including that uh, Indonesian International Challenge event when they went down to these two in their very first showing together. And uh, well, they were winless coming in here, so terrific for them to win their first round encounter, all Indonesian clash yesterday. But we saw in the uh, graphics that Kusuma is 158 in the world with Ribka Sugiarto. And of course, that's uh, the Indonesian women's doubles coach kind of fumbling around with mix and match amongst our young pairs, desperate to sort of seek that line of succession after Grisha Poli retires, which is, you know, kind of imminently, really. Who will play with Apriana Raheyu? The uh, big question. There's a lot of shuffling around in the Indonesian women's doubles pack. Big opportunity for one of these young pairings Four, two. to perhaps split and join the uh, really established doubles player of uh, Raheyu. In time, of course. Let's not jump the gun on that one. Over. Three, four. Good leave from the Indonesians. Kasuma with some good decision making and a raucous cry of delight when that uh, shuttle spilled over the back line. Deadlock in the early stages then, just 10 points played, both sharing five points. Town, who remember had those shoulder five. issues during the Sudaban Cup and Uber Cup finals. Had to step away momentarily and uh, get some rehab on that right shoulder. She was playing uh, laden with a lot of tape on her shoulder for quite a while. But now it's uh, fully recovered, seemingly. She's put the work in to uh, restabilize the joint. Rather similar to uh, Ratchanok Interlong, seemingly who's playing some really good badminton herself. Six, oh, well put away. Nicely engineered. And indeed, Interlong with a win on this very court, the uh, match prior. 11 and 16, she down Pai Yu Pu of Chinese Taipei in 36 minutes on show court one earlier this morning in Tanon. So uh, gearing up for the Total BWF World Championships is Rachanok by her own uh, admission. She's kind of pressure free really, using this as a training block with the uh, race to Bali rankings. Not really uh, her thing, so to speak, at the moment. She's leaving that to uh, plenty of other Feisty ties battling out for the two spots up for grabs there. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? 
isn't it? Lovely drop from Pearlie Tan. Nine, five. Deftly weighted. Absolutely stunning. So four points in a row, and that one sealed with the longest rally of the match. 33 shots. the start five. of the match where they broke away to three consecutive points. Now they've a run of five consecutives. Looking forward to getting to the mid-game interval first, the Malaysians. Incidentally, Pauli and Reheyu have uh, taken to court over on court two adjacent in an all-Indonesian clash against Fitrian and Susanto. Olympic champions with a 9-5 lead over there on two. Six, Five minutes ten. is uh, all that's unfolded over there. Twinning nicely, over. the Malaysian pairing. Tanatina. Really uh, playing some commanding badminton. Rush off to an 11-6 lead after seven minutes of play out here on one. Indonesians with plenty to ponder. Good work Eleven. from Kasuma. Platiwi getting on the front foot. Regular reminder of who are the eighth seeds. The Malaysians bullying their way through another bossy point. The strong characters are Pearlie Tan and her partner Tina Murulitharan. She's multilingual, is the latter. Speaks, I think, four or five languages very, very well. Very warm and compassionate, both of them. And on their way here, they were playing cards in one of the uh, airport lounges whilst we were waiting and uh, well not shy put it that way but lovely warm girls great fun determined and tenacious as well like to take the world on good great mentality for a competitive badminton We've had so many long encounters this year and they're always there or thereabouts Nine, at 12, the moment, they are ranked uh, on 18, the World Tour rankings 17, at four. Nine, so they will definitely yeah. be contesting the HSBC BWF World Tour finals, the Malaysians. Hey. Ah. Ooh, ah. 
just missed. It was pretty deceptive from Pearly Tan. Ten throw. These two did well yesterday, containing the tall, powerful Spaniard, Clara Azamendi, and her partner of experience, Beatriz Corrales. 43 minutes, all they required for that win. Just a little slip for Tina Murulithran, who wants the uh, court attendant on to remove any beads of sweat. Don't want to take any risks, not with uh, so much upcoming. Check if it's okay. So last week, the Malaysians beat uh, Hu and Lim, compatriots, in straight games. Then Fitriani and Susanto. We brought you that match on show court one, it was. I was calling it. 18, 18. And then they lost out to Matsuyama and Shida, 21-14, 21-15, 40-minute affair. What's up? Service over. There was hesitancy, wasn't there, in the Indonesian pairing there. 14, but they are fallible, the Malaysians, to the odd uh, Indonesian pair. They lost out to Ramadanti and Sugiato in the round of 16 of the recent uh, October-ending French Open in 41 minutes. Straight game affair. It was tight straight game. Down in the first round to Paulina Rajeu, the Olympic champions, 21-14 in the deciding game, an hour and 13 in the Denmark Open as well. So Brilliant block, isn't it, from Tina? So alert there. 16, 12. Found a little hole short on the Indonesian court. Look at that. So on the ball. Hey. Hey. 17, 12. Well, considering this is such good exposure to the two 20-year-olds in black at the top of your picture, they're acquitting themselves pretty well, normally akin to playing sort of international challenge level events. Yes, their partnership is quite young. They have to do that, of course, to bolster and build their ranking. They're up to uh, just outside 200 in the world. But they'll climb with the win here in the first round. That'll really help. Of course, today playing for another 1,800 world ranking points and approximately an extra two and a half thousand US dollars between them as well for the winner of this one. Good play from the Malaysians. But I'd suggest that the Indonesians are sort of in an embryonic phase of their partnership, just uh, learning at this level. It's all fairly new for two 20-year-olds in black. 
and uh, look like they're enjoying the situation, which is most important. 27 shot rally. They're in the way of the eight seeds. Twenty game point thirteen. So seven, seven game points for Tanantina. Hey. Oh. Denied by the over. losing finalists of the BWF hey. uh, World hey. Junior Championships hey. in 2019 from Indonesia. Hey. Indonesians yeah. might have won the Malaysian Junior International Challenge in 2019 and gained experience at that level, but this is a whole new 14. pond that they're in. Much bigger, loaded with good players, and it is indeed Tina and Tan who secure game one. 21-14 after 17 minutes. Well, showing all of their class and seniority, these two, just uh, three years and a year older than the two 20-year-olds in your picture. But uh, they led in that opening game all the way, the Malaysians, and did well to just keep these two 20-year-olds at uh, arm's length and diffuse their games. Second game. Last time in this encounter, it was a three three game long Love match all. won by the Malaysians. Can they get it done in straight Play. games today and be energy efficient? Found it. Beautiful smash. Just inside the sideline. little flurry there from the Indonesian pair. extra help with the wind on their back. It's very, very marginal, but this, the slightly favored faster end. Hey. 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 
over to all. Shortlift away, got the treatment from Tina Murilikaran. She's fist pumping after that, really enjoyed that. I did the team in black a little bit of a disservice. They also won the Jakarta Junior International Series as well in the same year that they won the uh, Malaysian Junior International Challenge event, 2019. So they're a pair on the up. But this will do them the power of good in testing these sort of events. What of their compatriots, the Olympic champions, adjacent over on court two? They're 21-10. They've secured the opening game against Fitriani and Susanto, Paulino Rajeu. So uh, making smooth passage, seemingly, after 20 minutes out on two. It's going to be really interesting to see which of these young Malaysian pairs ultimately flourish. Five, two. And who of those will be able to sort of perhaps join forces with Apriani Reheyu? Should it be deemed fit? It's all a long way off, of course. But, uh, Six, two. On the retirement, ultimately, of Gracia Poli. But it's been hinted at. rally of the match by quite a margin. Kasuma doing so well to neutralize and get back two. on the front foot. But then again, it's swiveled round again in favor of the Malaysians. 29 shot rally, the longest of the second game. And that was really compelling. Watch the finish here. Look at this. Beautiful from Tina. on a tear right now, rotating Eight, just so two. fluidly around each other. And that's a seventh point in a row for the red pet. <laughs> they enjoyed that, that was mega dynamic. Good insistent play. There is over three eight from Pratiwi. These opportunities at Super Thousand Level event don't come along every day. Indeed, there's only three on the uh, World Tour calendar all year. So you've got to take advantage if you can weave your way into one. And they've done just that. The young 20 year old Indonesian pair with a win prior to get here. Wow, what defense from Pearly Town! That was behind her. Oh, that's super point. Four, eight. <laughs> there's a lot of smiling going on on the court, and I'm sure there's plenty of it watching this. Enjoying their time on center stage.
lovely little flick serve. Six, eight. Fiery Dal from Norway having no nonsense. Back on court, guys. Carry on. You can play continuous. That's what we want. Seven, eight. Good energy between the Indonesian pair. So, uh, Pratiwi, they're really getting into this now. They've uh, nibbled away at the deficit on the scoreboard nicely, just to within one point of the Malaysians. No! Really good. A They're starting o. to play more expansively, far more relaxed on the show court with the media spotlight burning down bright. Just a little too much pop on that aggressive clear. From Pratui. Longest rally of the match. 35 shots. judgment from Kasuma, very out of character. She's been great so far. Body language looked good. She looked uh, absolutely convinced that it was going, but not so. She's dropping down well inside the line in the end. Good work in the front court from her, though, to redeem herself. Service over. And what a reaction. Nine, really ten. positive. So it's all encouraging for these two at the moment. Fighting back nicely in this second game. A must winner for them if they're to continue with their stay here in the Indonesia Masters. Wow, just saw a glimmer of the scoreboard. Kim and Kong taking on last week's finalists. Back on court. Jong and Kim in that all Korean clash and it's 10-8 in the deciding game over there. They've been on court for an hour and 16 already. Top seeds under siege. Kim and Kong. 9-10. Play. Pace. Kasuma oh. in the back court. Just when I thought the Malaysians were running away with momentum with that seven consecutive points early in game two, they've been pegged back by a, a run of seven out of the last nine from the youngsters. Really good defense from the ladies and over. a good change up. 11, they get on the front 10, foot again and all. once again, as they did in game one, head to the mid game interval with a one point advantage after just over half an hour of action. 11 10 
for Tan and Tina. little nibble off the net and it's greeted with a guttural roar from Tina and Tan and then an apology holding their hands up as if to say sorry would they do it again of course they would every time who wouldn't <laughs> kind of contradictory all that isn't it So court aware, really good. Service over. Patiwi hitting the straight smash to seal the deal. 11, 12. Thank you, back on court. 10, 10. Now with the full length dive to save the point momentarily, but to no avail in the end. The Indonesian pair keeping the pressure on. seeds and Indonesian pairing taking advantage Despite sterling defence from Pratiwi and Kazuma, in the end, Tanatina somehow put a lid on it. Longest rally of the match so far, 46 shots, yo-yoing all over the place, that one. Indonesians momentarily breaking to the front, but then denied back to Absolute parity we go on the scoreboard. Nice little try though from Pearly Tan, just offering a different look. Keeps the uh, returners uh, guessing a little. Oh, that's in. Misjudgment from Tan. Now there's a good energy of the young 20 year olds with their backs to us here at the near end. They're on the up here.
lucky little nibble off the top of the net. That'll help Pratiwi. She's delighted with that. They'll take anything they can at this stage. They're all smiles on that basis. And suddenly, they've engineered a crafty little three-point lead in game two. Kasuma and Pratiwi. Back on court. Sevisola, fifteen, out. Play. Well, is it to be a repeat kind of look when they were taking the distance in the Indonesian International Challenge just uh, a couple of years ago? Good lead from Tina, who looks around. There was a challenge by the Indonesians. No surprise there. And she looked hesitant, didn't she, Tina, there? Almost the body language suggesting, whoops, that might have landed in. Let's hope they don't challenge. Kind of look. Oh, no. Just long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. So two 20-year-olds very much buoyed with their confidence now, having had such a terrific, healthy run of efficient activity, scoring lots of points of late, and still leading in game two. That's gone. 15, 16. Fabriani to Apuji Kasuma will be incredibly frustrated when she sees the match back at that stage. She had so much time to play the shuttle, opted to leave it, and it landed right in. So the Malaysians momentarily let out of jail. That was close, wasn't it? I thought it was going to just wriggle over, but 17, Tina had it anyway, seemingly. Utterly committed to the cause there with another full-length dive. She is so tenacious. Didn't need to play it, but just in case, look at that for commitment. 52-shot rally, the very longest of the match. Going the way of the Malaysians, who were leaving nothing to chance there. Back on court. Oh, the red pair would uh, dearly love to put this to bed in two games and reserve some energies for what might be a very stern test in tomorrow's quarterfinal, should they both come through. Matsuyama and Shida as the fourth seed projected to come through against Super Jurokun and Tera Tanachai. Although that was an hour and 19 minutes last time when they met. Service over, 17 all. So a run of four consecutive points for the Malaysians comes to an end momentarily. And greeted with uh, 
generous reaction. 20, match point, 60. Taking no prisoners 18, there. 17. Kazuma. Good call oh, from no. Tina to ten. What a well contested rally again all. to bring parity to Ladies, the second game. Another very competitive point. Very encouraging for the unseeded young Indonesian Ladies. pairing. Extending the eight seeds like this. Incidentally, Kim and Kong have come through the all-Korean clash over on court three just now. An hour and 28 minutes to down last week's finalist, Jung and Kim. Oh. Oh. 19, 18. Tina is roaring again, complimenting some great work from her partner there, Pearly Tan. The umpire of the match, on shooting Georgia, Jung, on the Soviet Andy Purnama, Indonesia. Called long. Yeah, Pearly Tan wants to challenge it. It was mighty close. They're very difficult, those, aren't they? So skidded low and fast through the line, possibly. Let's take a look. It's a big point. Yeah, well, long in the end. Good job, Lance Judge. Unsuccessful. One challenge Japan. remaining. Service over, 19 all. Play. Standing. Absolutely amazing. The Malaysians there could barely believe they came through that point. They gave so much to it. Wow. Physicality. Top draw. Look at this, the commitment. Pearly Town here. Look. What a save. Gets back to her feet. Tina sort of recovers the point for her. And we turn it around in the end. That's fabulous. Look at that to finish as well. Down on their haunches, just recovering. Lungs Thank tugging you. up and down to get air into them. Oh, that was grueling. Doesn't matter. They've got a match point. The umpire of the match, R.P. Jumaryanko, Indonesia. And the subject. Mohamed Kizan Salman, Malaysia. Tina. 
Now, please will invite Rin Iwanaga and Ki Nakanishi, Japan. Versus Mario Matsumoto and Ayo Matsumoto, Japan. And Pratiwi. We'll have to go back to the drawing board, the Malaysians. gone as well. Now then, it's game point the other way. 20. Kasuma Pratiwi really bringing it at crunch time. Survived, saved a match point against them, and soldier on with securing game two. That will feel utter relief to Kasuma and Pratiwi. The Indonesians take game two, 22 points to 20 after 48 minutes, and we go on. It's going to be a deciding game after a very short break. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Players back on court. Final game. Here we go then. Deciding game Love between all. these two. Play. Tiwi. One love. Good racket head Thank control. You. That was glorious. Well, we spoke at the top of the program, didn't we, about just how improved Pearly Town Two and uh, love. Tina are. But uh, you have to say the same about the Indonesian pair as well. I mean, they're playing some terrific badminton. It's still a very, very tough match to call. 
one match point, having slipped through the fingertips of the Malaysians late in game two. Over. Bit of hesitancy there from Pratiwa. Smiling her default reaction. That is fabulously engineered from the Indonesian pairing. Absolutely Service brilliant. Over. Opening the court up Three, with some real one. crafty tactics. Look at this. One, love. Lovely little click down there and a wonderful follow-up. She Thank knew you. that Pearly Town would commit to try and help out. And just steered this little push into the open court. Look at this. Well done. Yes, she read it. So quick to bounce all over that. And a big beaming smile etched all across two, her face immediately three. on response. It's one of those patterns of play that as a good experienced doubles player, you know when it's time to get all over it. And that was idyllic from Tina Murilikaran. Really good leave, I think. First challenge of game three. Challenges called out. And of course, so important that uh, Tanatina are at this marginally faster end try and really ramp up the pressure and get to 11 first. Unsuccessful. Before the turn. One challenge remaining. That was a good Nine. challenge. Three, all. Beg your pardon, an unsuccessful challenge. Play. The Indonesians. Positioning is over. with that uh, penultimate Four. shot oh. from Kasuma right into the body. This one here, wonderful flat hard drive there. There, yeah, terrific. Just tangling pearly tan. Just in that awkward place between a forehand and a backhand. And a right up handcuffing into the body. Yes, good intervention from Kasuma there on the net. That was good. Picking her moment to pounce and really up the acceleration. Perfect timing. Is 
over. Five all. Over. Six, five. The stage is set right here, isn't it, for intrigue and upsets. There's only been one in women's doubles. That was Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith first thing this morning. Out on court one here. Lost in 48 minutes to Vic and Lee of Korea. There is over. Six, all. Will Tina and Tan be uh, more seeded victims today? Only time will tell. Or will they use all of their experience to find their way through as they did last time a couple of years ago? Didn't miss by much. But again, that's a good Seven, point to win. Six. Demonstrating a lot of patience, the Malaysian pair. Sinewy Malaysian, Burley Town, hammering that right down through the Indonesian channel, bisecting her two opponents. Looking to pull away these two, but it's been something that both teams have found very, very hard to do in this slow playing condition situation. Tough to get three points, have to really put the work in and build without missing, of course. Kazuma around the net there. Wonderful. Eight all. Certainly acquitting herself really well in the front court. There's a Fabriana. Another great save from Pearly Tam. Quickly, come on. Back on court. Back on Stayed court. down for quite a while, didn't she, there? So, eight all. Nothing between these two. Extend their stay, aren't they? 13, Kazuma and Pratiwi. There is over. Nine all. 
Well, I tell you what, they've picked a really good tournament to shine at, haven't they, the Indonesian pairing? Super 1000 level event, just uh, loaded with points and prizes. Chance to really put themselves on the map with an upset here, if they could find a way. It's a big if, though. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Little push to the space. Um, Tina. Nine. Quick and deceptive, the Malaysian there. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a drop shot. And indeed, what an angle cross net from Tina prior to that. Well, that was a stunning little passage of play from the Malaysian pairing. Look at this for creativity. Wonderful. And then the finish as well. Picture perfect. 11-9. Malaysian pair lead in game three. Coaches, take your chairs. Players, back on court. Coach, players. Eleven nine. Pencil. Seventeen eight. Amalia. Eleven nine. Play. Service over, 10, 11. Well, it's turned into a real tenacious tug of war, this one, hasn't it? It's just still so tough to pick a winner. Hurley Town down, but not out. Managed to get back to her feet, and then uh, a partner missing a, a fairly regular shot. Good judgment from Tina. She salutes that over. raised fist. 12, 10. Keeping the all important lead, which, to be fair, they had at the back end of game two with that match point opportunity at 2019. It slipped through their fingertips, and now they're having to demonstrate a lot of patience in this uh, 47 shot rally.
Ladies, go for you. Tina, no more delay. No more courses, no more delay. Play. Power, drop, six feet. Oh, it's landed in. One of the Malaysians called out that out. In desperation, 11, thought it was spilling over the back line, but it found the inside of the court somehow. Dropped very quickly, this shuttle. Let's see it again. This one here. Back in court. Another grueling 48-shot rally. Just the one point in it. That's encouraging. When cheap points are hard to come by, that 11. really does help. Bold and decisive was Pearly Town here. Look at this. One of those 14, really meaningful 11. cries from Tina Marulitharan, wasn't it? A three-point cushion. Misconduct delay. Umpire didn't like it at all, though. Play. Well, these two pairs serving up a treat here. An hour and ten already in this opening women's doubles. Radar momentarily off. 13, 14. Perhaps still thinking about that yellow card that she was just uh, shown. Got to flush that away and move forward. Easier said than done sometimes. And from nowhere, three points in a row for the Indonesian pairing. Early 10, forging forwards over. again. 15, 14. Just trying to elevate her pair. With some really positive badminton. Service 
while nothing's a lost cause for Pearly Town, that's for sure. Leaving it all out there. But a terrific point from Kasuma and Pratiwi. Deadlock again on the scoreboard in game three. Players 15 points all. Still all to play for. Very well played. Malaysians demonstrating patience and perseverance 16, again, 15. as they always do when it gets close and back to parity. It's uh, when they're front running two or three points ahead that they tend to get just a little blase and need to learn to keep the pressure on after a 60 shot rally goes their way. Longest rally of the match, 61 shots, of course. That one just one shy. Oh, that's really good. From Kasuma. Service over, 16 all. Scrapping so hard for a possible first ever quarterfinal in a super thousand level event for these two. It's not just a distant dream anymore. Still a long way to go. Well, it teetered on that net and sort of hung there for quite a while, didn't it? The shuttle momentarily there. Take your places. It was bold and adventurous. Didn't quite wriggle over. Good aggressive play. Service from over. Kasuma 18, in the it's a difficult dynamic, isn't it? And a different dynamic for these two in red. Suddenly now becoming the hunted rather than the hunters. 1917. World number 201 pairing, looking very good here. Whoa, wow. Let's hope there's no injuries down there. Pearly Town was just 
buckled backwards with the power of that Kasuma final smash. But I think Tinar has rolled her ankle in the meantime. Let's have a look. They're both still Can staying down on the court. That's just that. Well, let's hope they're both okay. Tan just clutching at her left hip. And glute. Just landed awkwardly. Yeah, they're okay. Moving around keenly. Well, after all of that intensity, it's three match points for Kazuma and Pratiwi. But the medic's been called. And I tell you what, the Malaysian pairing will be wriggling around in their beds tonight, having squandered that match point opportunity after 45 minutes or so deep in game two at 2019. And they might now pay a heavy price for that. Not that they did an awful lot wrong. Yeah, I think it was the ankle of uh, Tina, perhaps. Let's have a look. Now, these two 20 year olds. This is all new to them. This is a big moment. Opportunity, as I say, for the last state of a super thousand level event. Five, With a four. good win yesterday over their compatriots, Mawar and Siaka. Can they build today just a point away from victory and a spot in the quarterfinals? Ladies. Been out here now, a minute shy of an hour and a half. And we've still got nine more matches to bring you on day three. Nine more round of 16 clashes upcoming. Following this is Sayaka Takahashi against Pityapon Chaiwan. Japanese eighth seeded left hander. World number 13 against the world number 21. Just uh, nattering away to herself, ushering some commands, I'm sure. It's a narrow thought bridge. You can't be carrying too many thoughts at this stage. Whatever they've done, they've done it very, very well. The chance to upset the eighth seeds in the women's doubles here for Kasuma and Pratiwi. And we resume action with three match points 20. for the Indonesian match pair. Point 17. Play. Well, it's called out into the challenge, understandably. Correction. Yeah. Well, that's a great challenge, and look at what it means. She found the back line with the flick serve. And it is indeed the young Indonesian pairing of Kazuma Max, and Pratiwi come through Pratiwi, 14, a tight three-game affair, 21-17 in the deciding 17. game after 81 minutes of action out here on show court one. Understandably disappointment for the Malaysians, having had a match point at 45 minutes or so, as I said, it could have all been so different, couldn't it? But these are the margins that we love in badminton. It swung the other way in the end. Confirmation of the scoreline. The Indonesians, Kasuma and Pratiwi coming through. 14-21, 22-20.
21-17 in the end. They're into their first ever quarterfinal of a Super 1000 level event. Well done, girls. Keep on battling.